In this problem, we're looking for the angular speed of this centrifuge, and we're given its acceleration and its radius. Now, an important formula to know is that the centripetal acceleration of a rotating body is equal to the square of the angular velocity multiplied by the radius of the body. So if we're trying to solve for this term right here, this omega, the angular speed, let's algebraically rewrite this equation to solve for omega. So first we'll divide both sides of the equation by r. So we find that the angular speed squared is equal to the centripetal acceleration divided by the radius. Then we'll take the square root of both sides to solve for omega. So the angular speed omega is equal to the square root of angular speed divided by the radius. So now let's plug in the values we have, because we're told that the angular acceleration is equal to 100,000 g's. So that's 100,000 times the gravitational acceleration of 9.8 meters per second squared. And this is divided by the radius of the centrifuge, which is given as 8 centimeters or 0 0.08 meters. Put this into our calculator, and we find an angular speed of 3,500 3, radians per second. But the problem asks us to find it in RPM, or revolutions per minute. So we're going to have to do a couple unit conversions on this. So first, to convert from radians into revolutions, we need to know that one revolution is equal to 2 pi radians. So we'll divide by 2 pi radians. Then to convert from seconds into minutes, again, know that 60 seconds is equal to one minute. So we multiply by 60. And now this will give us 3.3 .3 times 10 to the power of four revolutions per minute. So that is the answer to this problem. And that is it for this video. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing as that'll help me out in making more videos just like this one. And leave a comment below if you have a request. That's all, bye-bye.